This is the situation room, I read you. Go ahead. Give me all available information on President, over. The uh, Associated Press is coming out now with a bulletin to the effect that they believe the President was hit in the head. Kennedy trusts the CIA? Not after the Bay of Pigs. Yeah, this time of year, uh, they're going to hate change or something like that. They make some kind of speech. They're going to really try to kill it. Somewhere probably around the hairline, we saw this huge hole where I'm pointing in the back of his head. The easiest shot would have been for the target is coming down Houston Street. Why did Oswald or whoever was in the building wait until the car was going away from you, 187 feet away? That The superior shooters of the day couldn't do that. I went in in 1972 as the first non-government related, non-government sponsored forensic pathologist to examine the autopsy materials. Page one story, president's brain missing. Ruby was working for Marcello. David Ferry even brought Oswald to meet Marcello. The FBI had that on tape, all of it witnessed, and they've sat on it. I think that we definitely have enough shots to show that there's a conspiracy and that there were probably at least three shooters in the plaza that day firing shots. Was there a real thread of that fear running through the administration that perhaps a coup could take place in the United States? It was no joke when the Joint Chiefs, before that first week was over, demanded a session with Kennedy. And we have recorded for history and what LeMay and the Marine Commandant, David Shoup, and some others had to say with Kennedy out of the room was pretty close to uh, treasonous.